Today, I'm going to divulge the facts of life. I don't mean where babies come from. Oh, no, this is much more important. I'm going to tell you the frightening facts about iMovie frame rates. First of all, you can rejoice in knowing that iMovie can handle clips with any frame rate you can throw at it. 24, 25, 30, 50, 60, 120, 240 frames per second, it can handle them all. I've assembled a little collection of clips we'll use during this video of all the common frame rates from 24 to 120 frames per second, and even one photo, which is technically zero frames per second. Our second fact of goodness is that you can mix all these different frame rates in an iMovie project. Just to prove this to you, let's select these six clips and drag them into our timeline. When we play the video, all the clips of differing frame rate play back in normal speed, with the exception of the 120 frames per second slow-mo clip which starts and ends at normal speed, but slow-mos in between, which matches what you'll see in the Photos app preview. Fact number three. iMovie projects know what their frame rate is, but guess what? There's no way to directly set it, and iMovie won't tell you what it is. But I'll show you how you can control it and find out what it is. If you're using a Mac and drag a 60 frames per second 1080 clip to the timeline, and then go to settings, it'll tell you exactly what you've got. If we drag a 24 frame per second clip to the timeline, the settings window will be mute. But if you zoom into the timeline and select a range at the start of the timeline, the range indicator will roll over from 23 frames to one second, telling us that iMovie thinks this is a 24 frames per second timeline. The other thing you need to know about project frame rates is they are determined by the very first clip you add to the timeline. This is not necessarily the leftmost clip in the timeline because you might move clips around later. Setting the project frame rate is a little different on iPhone and iPad for iMovie. It can't export a 24 frames per second project, and if 50% or more of the content is 60 frames per second, then that's what the project frame rate is. You do have the opportunity to dial back 60 to 30 frames per second on export on iOS devices, but you can't do that on the Mac. You can change a project's frame rate by putting a clip that has the frame rate you want in the leftmost position, selecting all the clips with the command A, cutting, which means you now have a scary empty timeline, and then pasting it all right back in. iMovie will paste in the leftmost clip first, so that's what sets the project frame rate. Once you've done this, you can delete that first clip if you want. The project frame rate won't change. Well, that's all the facts on iMovie frame rate. If you want more examples of the PAL formats like 25 and 50 frames per second, see my other video on controlling iMovie frame rates.